Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this full face glam look, which is great for a nighttime party. It's quite dramatic, but the face and the skin look very flawless and natural and airbrushed. So let's get started. The first product I'm using is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. And this primer is actually great for people that are acne prone. The only thing is that you have to let it set. So meanwhile, as this primer sets, I'm going to go in with the eyes and I'm just putting some tape on so that I can get a crisp line at the edge. And that's how we're going to start. Um, the primer I'm using is this Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer. And I'm just putting this on with a synthetic brush and then blending it out with my finger. And also with this primer, you have to let it set for about 30 seconds once applying it. So just apply that, let your uh, let your uh, primer set, and it'll be like super glue for your shadows that you put on afterwards. So the first color I'm going to be going in with is Salted Caramel from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to put this into the crease. Her eyes are pretty big and there isn't much distance between the crease of her eyes and her brow bone. So it's, a, it's, so it's okay if it goes a little um, upwards. We can just always clean that up with the brow highlight. So just take that and uh, buff it into the crease very well. And next I'm going in with Milk Chocolate and deepening up the crease. It's okay if you guys have fallout onto the lid because we will be cleaning that up as well when you apply shadow. Then again, deepening up the crease even more and adding some dimension and depth. I'm going in with triple fudge on a smaller, uh, sh a smaller blending brush and applying that directly into the crease and buffing it out very, very well. Once the crease is nicely buffed out and smoky, I'm going to add creme brulee onto the lids with a flat a shadow brush. And on top of that, I'm going to pack a color from the BH Cosmetics Wild at Heart Palette. And it's the light champagne color, so I'm just going to apply that right on top of creme brulee just to make it even more shimmery and glowy. Next to line her um, uh, eyelids, I'm going to use um, the Makeup Forever Ink Liner. And I really like this liner, but I didn't have much control when I was doing it on somebody else. So I did switch over to the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Liquid Black. And this is in the color 861 Black. And this liner is even, it's like amazing. It's You have such good control of um, when doing it on a client and the brush is like, amazing and it does all the work for you so I'm just going to do a classic wing on her and it's okay if you mess up towards the end uh, by the wing because you guys have tape on so once you pull it off you'll always have a crisp line. As the inner corner highlight, I'm going to once again go back in with creme brulee and just apply that in the inner corners and pull it towards the other shadows and also in the lower lash line. And now I'm just using two Q-tips to clean up all the shadow and all the fallout that might have came onto her eyelashes because we will be applying falsies. The foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal Palace Infallible Matte Foundation, which is a 24-hour foundation. And this was in the color 104 Golden Beige. And I'm just going to use a buffing brush, a flat top kabuki, and apply that all over her face and buff it out very well. You don't want to apply too much underneath the eyes because you will be going in with concealer and you don't necessarily need two layers of coverage underneath there. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer. And because her skin is so dry, I should have mixed in a little bit more moisturizer in to the foundation so this way it'll be easier to buff out but I did forget to do that so you guys can do that when you guys um if you guys have a client that has very dry skin or if you have very dry skin To avoid any streaking or anything, you always want to go back in and buff one more time. Over here, I'm just using a beauty blender and just tapping all the foundation in so it looks flawless.
I'm then using a concealer to underneath her eyes and the bridge of her nose on her forehead and a little bit on her chin. And the one I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. And I was quite heavy handed with this and I did forget that she's very dry so I didn't need so much um, concealer. But the way to always fix that is by just buffing, blending and using a beauty blender because it will pick up any excess product. And feel free to use your fingers and to get underneath there and blend out very very well. To set all the creams and everything underneath her eyes, I'm using the Crayolin Translucent Powder TL2, which is a great um, finely milled translucent powder, and I'm just using the Beauty Blender to pack that underneath and to let that bake underneath her eyes, and then we can just sweep it away with another brush. So I'm just going to let that bake and set all the creams and um, to avoid any creasing, basically. To bronze and contour, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer and this is in the shade Espresso and I'm going to be using an e.l.f. Um, stippling brush just to blend that in very well and you always want to pull the bronzer or anything above the line you applied it in so you don't want to pull it down, you want to pull it up so it gives it a lifted effect. You can use any brush at this point to wipe away all the excess powder and um, I'm just using a regular brush, a powder brush and it's not dense which is good because it won't move away too much of the product underneath. So I'm just wiping away all the excess powder underneath her eyes. And I'm also going in with the first foundation uh, brush to blend out the contour even more because it did look quite heavy. And I'm going to pack um, Studio Fix Max pow uh, the MAC powder all over her face to further set the foundation and blend everything in. I went in with a denser brush again to pack on more um, Studio Fix underneath her eyes which will give her like a more flawless look. And now I'm going in with the Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D and, more, and bronzing up her face and the perimeter of her face even more. Now I'm just baking underneath her contour. So what you want to do is, here is that if you do get quite messy you want to use the... Um, Use any powder basically, but I'm using the same Crayolin powder and just applying that right underneath our contour lines and letting that bake. So this way we have a sharp contour when we uh, blend all that away. Now I'm going in with the Milani uh, blush in 01 Dolce Pink and this is a baked powder blush. And you just want to apply that to the apples of the cheeks and pull it backwards. I love this blush because it has quite a bit of shimmer in it. This way you don't have to apply highlighter on top. You could, but I mean, I, I don't like highlighter as it is, so you don't really need to. So um, that's the blush I used. And then we're going to go in and contour the nose. This wasn't necessary, but it'll just look flattering in pictures and it'll bring her nose forward. So I'm just going to go in with um, the powders from the Shade and Light palette and a fluffy brush just to contour that. Her brows are quite quite full so you don't need to fill those and if you're a client or you need to fill them in please go ahead and do so but over here I'm not filling them in I'm just using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to, um, to set them into place. Underneath her eyes I'm packing on triple fudge and I'm going to use um, a pencil brush with salted caramel and just buff that out and smoke it out quite nicely. In the waterline, I'm going to use Max Pencil in Costa Rica and just line her waterline. This is a great pencil because it has like a red undertone but it's and it's a brown pencil. And the reason I like this better than using a black one because it's not so harsh and it looks very natural and pretty. For the lower lashes, we're just going to give it a 
quick quote with the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara, which is a great um, lower lash mascara because it's so small. It just gets all the lashes and separates them very, very well. Having her exfoliate her lips with a wet towel and applying some of the Tarte Maracuja Lip uh, Exfoliator. The lipstick I'm going in with is Fast, uh, Fast Play from MAC, which is the amplified line. And then I'm going to line her lips with MAC Store on top of that. And this is the final result, you guys. I hope you guys like them. Uh, the lashes I used were the Glamorous um, Ardell lashes. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is the final result. Uh, if you guys would like to see any other tutorials, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. Thank you.